our galaxy, the Milky Way, contains roughly 300 billion stars. It's estimated that around 10 to 30 percent of those stars are suitable for life. That's 30 to 90 billion stars in our galaxy that have the potential to harbor life. The conditions for life are somewhat demanding. For example, it is assumed that for life to form, liquid water must be present, and that can only occur in a small range of temperatures. Planets too close to the star will boil water and have conditions too harsh for life to begin. Planets too far away from the star will freeze water, further hindering the beginning of life-forming processes. So accounting for the fact that of the 300 billion stars in our galaxy, 30 to 90 billion can support life, and of those, only a small percentage have Earth-like planets with orbits within a so-called green zone of habitation, we can conservatively estimate that there are still about 10 billion stars with planets orbiting them that have the potential to start life. And that's just within our galaxy. There are about 100 billion galaxies in the universe. But we aren't interested in just any form of life, although such a discovery would be amazing. Instead, we are interested here in finding a civilization. Doing some simple arithmetic from the Drake equation gives one star out of every 100 million should have a thriving civilization. So where is everybody? Enrico Fermi was the first to ask this question. He had realized that the likely timescales of the expansion of a civilization through a galaxy are so much shorter than the age of the galaxy itself, and given the existence of at least one intelligent race, namely us, one has to wonder where everyone else is. This became known as the Fermi Paradox. It's a paradox because there's an apparent mismatch between the time scale a civilization could colonize a galaxy and the age of the galaxy itself. We should be seeing aliens everywhere. Our galaxy is 10 billion years old and 100,000 light years across and on average has one star every light year. The average time it takes a civilization to move between stars sets its expansion velocity. If we modestly assume the speed to be around one thousandth of the speed of light, it would take a civilization a mere one thousand years to move between the stars. At this rate, the time it would take for a civilization to travel from one end of the galaxy to another would be around one hundred million years. This is much, much less than the age of the galaxy. As viewed from galactic timescales, once an interstellar spacefaring civilization develops, it should sweep across the galaxy like wildfire.